got me this fucking candy in the can. For fuck's sake, I ain't even really touched my water. Oh, turn it. We don't oh, want. Oh, sorry. We we, we don't want no free sponsor in here. <laughs> oh, they can't tell this is a Fiji water. There's something wrong. With I wasn't even talking about the water. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh the candy can. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, who's it by? <laughs> These guys? Yeah, what's their company? I don't know. Don't drink it, eat it. It says zero sugar. I never even no, noticed that. Oh, no, don't eat it, drink it. Candy can. That's why he was getting it. Yeah. Zero sugar though? Yeah, bro. To why? So what's that? To why this sweet? Well, Artificial sweetener. It, Turn on the back and it'll, t- it'll tell you. You can read it. Shitload salt in it though. Yeah. Say that. Salty. One it's calorie. Yeah. This is crazy. No it's just way. Delicious, bro. No way. Five percent of last is that up in We doing a commercial for them right now, I guess. <laughs> I hope they paying. <laughs> Candy can <laughs> shit. Don't eat it. Drink it. Mm. That's funny. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought you was getting some sugar in you. I thought it's sugar. Oh, bro. Well, that's why you that's why you crave those candies still. That's uh well, like, you get no, anyways. Uh <laughs> 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 hey what's up it's John Kizzy You know who is he A.K.A. Philly G Cause they know who I be And I'm here with King Tigger What's up And Laton and his candy I'm back <laughs> And hey we started a podcast Now today We're doing like uh, Like we did with Kendrick back in the day I said back in the day <laughs> <laughs> was It was back in the day Back in the day <laughs> On the like, block you know, Two months ago You know uh, it was back in the day. No, it was no 2G was still orbiting us. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wasn't part oh, of the, <laughs> he wasn't on the pod no more, oh, but he was still just around. Oh, no. So it wasn't two months ago. Well, four months ago. Though. It was before I went away. Yeah. Well, four months before. ago. Oh, shit, it's December, man. Yeah, bro. Damn. Christmas is coming. Yeah, sheesh. Weather outside. I guess we shouldn't raining. really talk about that. No, this is a Christmas episode, actually. Is it? Remember? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're doing this for Christmas. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope you got all that stuff that you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Watching Christmas movies. Do you guys watch Christmas movies Fuck. at Christmas? Oh, my God, bro. Oh, did you finish host. that one? Did you finish? Which one? The Candy, can- candy Lane? Or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad? It wasn't bad. It was just... It was... It was different. I'll give it that. It was different. But it's still the same premises every time. You know, but, you know, you try to do something for your family. You fuck up. Family gets mad at you. You <laughs> fix it. Everything's good at the end. Same premises every fucking time, right? Something needs to change. Like, I don't know what, but I don't know. What's, I what's, guess it's just how Christmas brings everyone together. I don't know. What's your, uh, what's your, I had a meltdown about Christmas the other day. Uh-oh. It's uh, Christmas stresses me out when I was pissed off. I hate Christmas, bro. Because I, I, I hate Christmas too. I love Christmas. Uh, I, I I hate it. I love Christmas. I man. was like, because I'm more of a, I don't, I don't like it because it's commercialized. Mm-hmm. Same. And it, it's like, why does the calendar have to tell me that today is the day that we exchange gift? Yeah. Like I'm always the person that I get I get my girls gift all year round. If I'm out and I see something and I know she'd like it. I, I buy it and I give it to you. Well, I got to wait until the day Jesus was born or whatever. Mm. Whoa. And then when, why do we, why? Well, I, I, I don't want to get people mad. I don't know. No. You know, it's, it's, I wasn't there. <laughs> so I, 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 I just put the quotes so that both sides yeah. could be equally mad at me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it, it's in the whole, when the, you know, it's a time to be together with your family. Like, nigga, why, why? Why can't you be together on your, with your family right. on a random Tuesday, yeah. yeah. Like, why did it have to be there? You know why? It's because this is when they that Nate when they can commercialize it. Yeah. That's why I hate the commercialism of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hate the fact that you know you're almost oh, expected to give gifts and you expected you know and then it gives you this expectation. And even if you are against it and stuff, you still feel some kind of way if you don't get. What you want Just because you're almost Semi programmed to it I don't I, I got over it Well you get over it After yeah, you get over I, it I, I, Yeah You, get, like, you manage to get over it But I just don't like The commercialization I, I, I go in the reverse aspect Of it that Because You gotta give gifts That I feel like The gifts that I'm giving you May not be good enough Or up to your expectations That you wanted Or you didn't get enough of them You know what I mean So it was like And uh, actually And another thing That stresses Yeah 
getting gifts for adults is hard, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I won't lie. Me and my sister don't know what. We always like, what you want? I don't know what you want. Because we grown. If I want something, I bought it. You know You know what? You know what I hate? The, the saying that I hate, right? If I come to you and I'm saying, yo, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, you don't know me by now? You don't know what to get me for Christmas? I hate that shit. I, I hate that shit, too. I fucking hate it, bro. How am I fucking supposed to know what you want this year? You this don't day? know yeah. me. <laughs> it's like... That's you know, three minutes say, in. That's all he made it was three? Fuck. Because all I can smell is fuzzy peaches. I know. <laughs> guys got the whole room. I smell like fuzzy peaches. But yeah, no, Sorry. Right? Like, I, 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 I hate that. If you say, I don't know, then I can respect it. Because I'm like that, too. I don't know. But if you say... Oh, you don't know me by now. No, I don't know what you want this year. I I don't know what you could want within this week or day or what you're feeling like. Mm -hmm. Like if you say, "Oh, you don't know me by now," yeah, I knew you by now because I got it for you last year. So what do you want this year? You know what I mean, like, yeah, I I, I don't yeah. like guessing either. Yeah, I, I but a combination like of me not being able to figure it out yeah. and getting shitty gifts in the past, yeah, <laughs> just just. Just tell me what you want. Like my wife will ask me, like, "Oh, what you want for Christmas?" I'm simplistic. A hat, a jersey, shoes, sneakers. <laughs> I'm simplistic, bro. See, that's all I want. And me, I'm yeah. not including. Yeah. So I'm even simpler. Yeah. Liquor. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And well, <laughs> let me put it this way: the shit I want is too expensive to ask for. Exactly. Mm. So, mm. exactly. Give me a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Because you know I'm not going to be like Yeah I, Give me a new I, Well for my girl I could say something like Yeah I could use a new mic I could use this Editing this Software mm. Maybe some of that That's all But that But that be the only person You could ask for that type yeah, of stuff exactly. Like we getting a Playstation 5 this year You know what I mean Who else would I ask for? Yeah The Playstation Shit's so expensive right now You couldn't even ask A relative to get you a game <laughs> Yeah <laughs> True That's almost a hundred dollars That's yeah, a lot You know what I mean right? So, so yeah, so oh, and gift cards are oh, the gift that keeps on giving. Gift cards are always good. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I watched a episode of Seinfeld recently where it was Elaine's birthday, and um, Elaine and Jerry they were in this weird place where are they together? Or are they just friends for whatever? Right? And he didn't want to. They they talked about the gift. So much hangs on the gift. If you give this type of gift, it's too committal like. If you mm -hmm. do this type of gift, it's too friend. Like he he ended up giving her cash, <laughs> wrapped it, put it in a box though, wrapped it up. But um, George was going to get her a gift, right? He's like, no, you can't get anything better than me. Whatever you get has to be half as good as me. So he gave Elaine like a two hundred dollars cash. Then he later on said, George, what you get her a hundred dollars cash? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Seinfeld is 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 funny, yo. You find a lot of racist stuff in those older shows. The fuck a racist ass show. But but it's a uh, well, yeah, you do. But it, it, it still has some funny moments, like like stuff like that. Like the gift thing is something yeah, yeah. that everybody can relate to, especially if you're you know if, if you are just starting in a relationship, you don't know exactly where you stand. Mm. What do you get this person? Maybe that's why when I was like in my twenties, I always broke up around Christmas. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Christmas and birthdays. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> you you break up in like. Beginning of December, mm -hmm. and you don't get back together or start looking for somebody else or whatever. New Year's until no, because because then you still got to deal with Valentine's Day. I wait until <laughs> I wait until March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you got Easter. You don't get gifts on Easter. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. I'm not Christian. Neither am I. I don't give gifts on Easter to the kids. Do yeah, the kids get gifts. Yeah, but not like a, a girl I'm dating. What you supposed to get her uh, uh, Easter bunny? <laughs> some chocolate eggs. <laughs> anyway, oh, sorry, uh, bunny poop is what they call it. Yeah. And if you're lucky, I... if you're lucky, you date girls <laughs> whose birthdays in January or February, because then you then you miss that too. Wow, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. got it all followed. Nick. I love yeah. Christmas, man. Yeah. Follow me for more you love money Christmas, saving bro? techniques. Why you love Christmas as much as you do? I he, like he's Christian. He's supposed to love Christmas. I like um. It's not. I mean, yeah, that is a big part of it. I would say, yeah. Even the, the aspect of the giving part mm -hmm. is more important to me than the receiving part. Because I, I don't know. I and then okay, there's two two sides of it. Like, but, but from what you said, yeah, 
I, I can understand. But you don't, I, I don't like the idea that you have to wait till Christmas for no. that gift. No, you do, you don't have to wait till Christmas. I agree with that it shouldn't be one particular time. You, you know, you do it, but I don't know. Just the build up to this time, I I get it. It's mm-hmm. like a build up. Oh yeah, and I guess it helps you out too. You have to get it all yeah. But anyway, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but I like I like I don't know. I just feel like that time is a good time. I just, I just like to see people like get something, especially people who just who don't get anything. Sometimes they you no. Know? The last, I wish I could do more of it with people who I don't even know. Fortunate. Yeah, for I don't even know. I wish I could like, I wish I could help people who don't even know, man. Like, that's what I, that's what I wish, and mm-hmm. I could do that on Christmas. Not even people who I know, but people who I don't know. Right, right, right. Who don't have nothing. Okay. I wish I could get something, but like, I like the feeling of Christmas because I don't know. I think I get it from my father really because mm-hmm. I because I always like when I was young, I used, I was only child, so I was getting a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I would notice that my dad would get like less than nothing. No, and, I get it. And I feel like he he didn't care. Mm. He was happy that everybody else is happy. Yeah, and that's, I, yeah, that's and I, see, I'm like that too, right? I prefer to see my wife happy. I prefer to see exactly. my kids happy. You yes, know what I mean? right. So I got a little idea for you, so that you want to get to a little more unfortunate. Yeah, take fifty dollars, break it up into ten fives, and go hand it to the homeless. Just uh, that's just like just randomly, just randomly, or. <laughs> You could just make a meal and take them down and just give them more food. Just give them food. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, but but you know, get those t- takeaway dishes. You don't you don't you don't want to lose your Tupperware. <laughs> you got your Tupperware because you ain't getting it back. That's funny. His, his that, Tupperware is you know takeaway funny? dishes. You know what's <laughs> you know what's funny? That happened in another episode of uh, Seinfeld. Oh, oh my god! Kramer was seen this homeless guy. Right, had his food and gave him the food, and then came back later for his Tupperware. And the homeless guy was like, "No, I'm keeping that." <laughs> He's like, "I, I said you could have the food. I, I want my dish back." He's like, "No," and of course, <laughs> Kramer tried to fight. But the, yeah, I can get where you're coming from. My dad was the same way. Mm, he was yeah. the type that, like, even if you asked him what he want for Christmas, he said, "Just make sure you get your mom something. Yeah, make sure you get your sister something. Make sure you get your brother something mm, and yeah. stuff like that." He was always like that. Even my dad was so much to the point that every year, because there was, I had an older brother and a younger sister. On any of our birthdays, like of course the birthday party was all about you, but the other two siblings always got one gift too. Wow! Everyone got a gift on a uh, birthday. That's that's different. Yeah, I, I always enjoyed that. Have got my Ninja Turtle, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm always the last one to open my gifts. Yeah, right. I'm not worried about opening my gifts. Yeah, I, it's they're there, they're there, right? I just want to see everyone else open their gifts. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean, like, yeah, yeah, dri- yeah. And that drives the yeah. wife crazy because she's like, "I'm not opening. I want you to open with us." I'm like, "No, I'm not. I want to see what you guys got. I yeah. want to see your expressions. Like, yeah, I'm not worried about my expressions, right? Yeah, like, the novelty of Christmas worn off when I was like fucking nine years old. Mm. You know but you know so, what? Uh, to, to say from this perspective. Maybe they get that same feeling too. That's why which, they want to see you good open it up. Right? Yeah, but maybe. that's the thing. It's like that. Like I said, that novelty for me has been gone since I was nine years old, bro. Once I realized that I can get stuff any day of the week, as long as I got money to get it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't worried about Christmas. You know what I mean, so, yeah, yeah, the same here. Yeah, that's, but I did learn that if you're in a relationship, mm. um, don't buy anything for yourself in December. <laughs> <laughs> He took that Christmas gift away. That's why, right? Oh yeah. No, no, oh yeah. Cause oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've gotten so many dirty looks yeah. in the you know, and oh, why'd yeah. you do that? Even from my mom. Yeah. Like don't buy nothing. Like my son did it. He got some money because he sold his uh dirt bike. Mm-hmm. Um and first thing he did, all of a sudden he messed me, yeah, I bought the new Mortal Kombat. And that's like why are you buying stuff in December? He's like, I really want to get. I I was giving you that for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and now I got to take it back. You got to take it back. Exchange it. And He's like, oh, I didn't know. I was like, you never buy stuff for yourself in December. That's true. true. That's true. Actually, nowadays you I shouldn't buy that. stuff for yourself, even in mid November when Black Friday starts. <laughs> bro, you're not allowed buying nothing for yourself no more. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> if you got a black mother. You can't buy nothing for yourself after the summer's over because they already started Christmas shopping. Uh, oh yeah, they did. Yeah. My mom used to, <laughs> my mom used to go to New York yeah. in the summertime. Is it 
trip. No, was it in the summertime? Might have been October. Anyways, it was well ahead of um, Christmas, Christmas. and that's when she do all her shopping. Yeah. And she's like, "Don't buy that. You might get a, like always saying these hints." So I'm like, "So I just can't buy nothing no. <laughs> until Christmas." Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's it's it's. What did they say? The thought that counts. Yeah. But, you know. I used to say, well, then I guess I always got two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I got a copy. <laughs> yeah. I, and I love, at least when we're older, I love when family communicates. Mm. Because I stopped buying socks because I know I'm getting them Christmas. But then I think they, my family didn't communicate. So everyone was like, man, he's probably tired of getting socks. So then one year, no one got me socks. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't, uh, you know, I was like, that, "That's my, that's my sock day. <laughs> Christmas is my sock day." I had to actually go to buy socks for the first time, and I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't know. <laughs> I'm here looking at socks, like, what is? I don't know. Oh, shit. Like, I don't, I don't go shopping for socks. I get my socks wrapped and delivered to me. <laughs> Have me shopping for socks. This nigga don't have my socks. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I get them Christmas. This nigga can order anything he want off fucking Uber Eats. Like, oh yeah, fucking oh. buy socks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't know that there was so many time. Because <laughs> even if you're like, yo, I want the ankle socks, I type. Then there's like six different types. I'm like, man, yeah, it is. I'm getting stressed out over socks. <laughs> oh shit! I'm waiting for Christmas. Oh fuck! Anyways, this went off topic, especially off when topic. I said that we're going to do like we did back in the day <laughs> with Kendrick. Back in apparently, the back in the day with Kendrick, we talked about Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Probably. We're going <laughs> to <laughs> we're going to do a little deep dive like we did with uh, "To Pimp a Butterfly," but this time it's a uh, Tigger's choice. Yeah, and he chose you. You take it away. So I chose Biggie Smalls. Um. Oh shit, guys put me on swatches like that. I ready to that. die. Thank you, ready to die. I've got the title album. <laughs> oh shit. He had two albums. You know I mean? <laughs> he had a 50-50 chance to say. which one it was. Because <laughs> every time I want to say life after death, was well, not life after death, it was ready to die. Right? So, um, reason why I picked this here album is because this is one album that I can play from start to end and enjoy the complete thing. With the intros, the outros, the uh, skippets in between, it was just so enjoyable to me to see the diverse of the way he started off from being born to a suicidal death at the end of the record, right? So he literally went from ready to die from birth to death in one record and all the upcomings and the downfalls and the sex and the selling of drugs and everything. In one album, how many how many songs again is on that album? Oh, now I got accountant shit. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> it's not even seventeen, like seventeen, 17 songs. Aside from the intros and outros. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so seventeen. So minus two. So minus two. It's Fifteen. And the skip it. Huh? And the skip it that he had in there. The skit. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So fifteen of them were actually songs. Songs, right? So, so there's the intro, then yeah. there's the fuck me. Interlude, yeah, and then um, now if you go on, um, I almost said Amazon, but I meant to say Spotify. Right, they added two songs that weren't originally on the album, okay. and that was um, "Who Shot Ya," mm-hmm. and I forget the name of the second one. "Who Shot Ya" was just an EP anyway, right? But yeah, so just playing, I think so. But like I said, it's like. It's such an adventure within 17 songs. So 17, yeah, 17 songs, right? Yeah, Dreams. Dreams, dreams of fucking r and just yeah. playing, yeah. But it was just Those such an songs. adventure to go from negative to positive to negative to positive within 17 songs. And it really touched home to me on a lot of those songs. And the storytelling's amazing. Like, you, you can almost feel yourself being there throughout most of these Yo, situations, right? That's one thing that I was reminded when listening to this. Yeah. Like, any song, and this is almost all except for the what yeah. I just want to say. Any song where it's just him, mm-hmm. dude is a crazy storyteller. Yeah, I didn't like back then because this came out in '93. Right, I was like, I was twelve. Yeah, right, I was thirteen. Yeah. I, so I, I listened to. Li- <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I think even man. 
<laughs> smells like you know. I was watching Bernie. That's what he was watching. Did he off? <laughs> did he off you in Fuzzy Beach? I can't eat the money. Oh, you want you want one, man? No, I was just asking if he got an offer. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I, I, you know. Yo, just smack his lips, dog. <laughs> I try to phrase it. <laughs> 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 Before Dude, was this the one to talk about? He's all about the giving and stuff. <laughs> I know, I know, and I can't get a fuzzy peach offer. Man, I have to ask. Man. No, because now I'm asking. Man, That's not an offer. Did I check the previous episode where I, <laughs> I gave out chips? All right, all right. Me that candy can. So yeah, yeah no. but it was Rick Ross chips though. <laughs> <laughs> With my Wu Tang chips. <laughs> Anyways, um. But uh, yeah, every song is a story, and yeah. I was like, "This is dope." I don't know, I probably, I was too young to listen to and know the like. I gravitated towards the punchlines, right, right and stuff right, when right, I was younger. Right. Yeah, but um, yeah, and so um, let's break this down. Now we'll start with the intro. Also, looking at credits, I seen that uh, the, the what I thought was right. The, the female voices on this stuff is Little Kim. Is it her? I, yep. Okay. I wasn't but too sure. She's right. in the intro. She's in that. Uh, she's the, in the skit. The skit. Yeah. I knew and, that was her in the skit. And a uh, friend of mine, she's does the. Feet. Like, in that skit, she changed her voice a little bit. But when it starts to fade over, oh, she's like, you black motherfucker, her natural yeah. voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's when I was yeah. like, I thought it sounded like her, but I was so like, Jenny okay. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um, Actually, so we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're going to yeah, do yeah. a breakdown. We should do a proper breakdown with, like we did with Kendrick. Yeah. So we're going to start with the intro. Right. Um, uh, you you probably got more to say about it. So I want to start. I mean, with me, I want to say that if you want to know what one of the really things that stood out to me hmm. is that um, where he plays Snoop in it. Mm. And then later on in some other songs you see you see there's a West Coast feel. Mm-hmm. It, it gives you gives you more. Uh, listen to it now yeah. after knowing that there was a beef with the West Coast. Yeah, it even cemented more that he was never against the West. Yeah, exactly. Right. But um, it, it, it he pays homage like Biggie. You could tell was a hip hop. He liked hip hop. Yeah, he pays so much homage to a lot of stuff on the album, and you know other stuff like. Uh, I think Curtis Mayfield was playing on that in the intro too. Yeah. And um, but I do like it. How it got him from being born to living his life mm-hmm. to going to prison, yeah. and then it ends with him getting out. Yeah. Right. So it, basically, what he was showing was what was going all on in his life at the time, from birth in prison, and then getting out of prison. Right. So here's some of the music that was playing. So from birth, it was like the Curtis Mayfield and things like that. While he's uh, on the street, it's another artist that's more around the age of what he's listening to. In prison, is another artist of what he was listening to and what's being played, what was popular at that time, to the time that he got out. And now it's my time to shine. Now yeah, I mean, yeah. So, yeah. We've got a, got a nice little whole like, uh, timeline there. Mm. What do you think about the intro, PG? <laughs> DJ Fuzzy. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm listening to you guys break it down and now. I, I kind of understand it more. I didn't understand it like when like just listening to it. Right, right. You were only four. I was like, <laughs> I was like what's happening? It's like this is happening and it's quiet and clipped in. I was like, what's happening? Yeah. But I didn't understand like that was like a timeline thing. Yeah. But now I do. The whole thing was a it's, timeline, bro. The whole the whole album was the whole it? album's pretty much a timeline, yeah. See this one, like I listened to the album and I guess I would say this at the end. I'll say this at the, I'll say what I thought about the album at the end, but yeah, yeah. But I listened to the album and I don't know, it just I don't know, I'll say it at the end. <laughs> and then I listened I listened to the album and I was like I felt like it's I don't know, I felt like some of it was written before and then some was written like later on. That's how I felt about the album. Like I felt like it was like it was old him, then this new him. Mm-hmm. And well, I guess that's what he's trying to show in the album. Like, and the thing is, is that it. Um, I found out. Well, just studying hip hop, I found this out. But somebody else recently said it in an interview. You God, where on his first verse, that was on a Wu Tang album, right? 
people liked it from Mystery Chess Box. And he's like, oh, I wrote that when I was 15. Cause, mm. and, and that's kind of what you're saying is that a lot of these rappers, like they say that you have your whole life to come up with your first album. Yeah. So he probably did write some of that stuff when he that's, was a kid and kept it going and kept right. and build on it. Like, because if you have a dope rhyme, a, like as you can tell from like, some of the stuff that you can listen to it now and still jam to it, mm. a dope line is a dope line. Yeah. So if you write something that's killer when you're 15, but you don't put out your first album until you're 20, you're probably keeping that line, yeah. that, that, that yeah, verse, right? For sure. For so, sure. yes, that's probably why. And it probably it goes with the album, too. It does. It, it should show how he progressed and how he elevated through it. Now, I'm sorry, that was an album breakdown when we were supposed to go song by song. Yeah, that's what I, I, <laughs> so, gonna yeah. Say, I was going to say at the end. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's what I took from. So, I, I, I didn't research this album. I don't know how it was written or what time yeah, I was. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I just felt You're like four. that's. That's how <laughs> <laughs> I felt like how that was going. Like the intro, I was like, "What's happening? What's the yeah. it was, like?" Yeah. It's it's such a simplistic album, but complex at the same time. Yeah, if that makes any sense to you, right? I know it's an oxymoron, but like it's simplistic in how he's trying to explain himself, but it's complex in the way he's expressing himself. Yeah, right. So you know, it's crazy. The big was still alive. Mm. I think he could be in where uh, Fitty is right now. He's such a vivid storyteller. Yeah. Oh, he could definitely. He, he would have definitely like been able to make shows. And shows up, bro. Guaranteed. So on to the, the I was going to say the first, the next song, but it's actually the first song. Yeah. And that's Things Done Changed. And that's another th- one where you could see the inspiration in the homage he plays because the, uh, the hook is actually Dr. Dre. Yeah. From uh, Little Ghetto Boys, yeah. they're, they're, they 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 looping that. Uh, um, they used to blast. I forget what the whole line, but it, it, it's just one line from the song Little Ghetto Boys, yeah. and, and that's what he plays is the is the hook. And um, I like it. I like how these this things unchanged. Yeah. He's talking about back in the day, things was like this. Yeah. Back in the days when niggas had corn braids, like, yeah. you know. Yeah, they get the waves, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember that line. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> but now we got to remember, too, though, the back in the day that he's talking about was back in the jerry curl days, the corn braids to the waves, the S curls and stuff. It would have been before our time. Yeah, well, not before our time, but because well, yeah. it's 93. Man, listen, jerry curls, S curls, corn braids, that was all out in our time. Yeah, no. but yeah, yeah. That's why I don't call that our time. Well, it was our time. Like, <laughs> we were alive, but but yeah. when he was, yeah, you know, moms and pops was putting that shit in our head too to see what it looked like for a minute. <laughs> no, not no, not me. It was my cousin. My, <laughs> she did my hair. I had I had the corn braids. With Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, so he's just explaining those times, how they were, how rough they were, like how you were sitting there and. Rooms with your cousins sleeping, brothers and sisters sleeping, and all cramped up in little rum room shacks and shit like that there, right? Mm. So, you know. But, yeah. And then escalating from there, you know? How you able to grow, how you able to get a little bit of wealth and shit like that. Yeah. I heard a line you saw when his mama got a lump in her breast. That was, that was yeah, the yeah, song, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, wow. He thought it was serious stuff in that, too. Yeah. Just how things change. Things, things change can, for real. Things though. can go from like, like I said, it can go from bad to good, back yeah. to bad, or from good to bad to good, right? So just the way your perspective of looking at how life is. It's also it was a really good opener song. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. The placement of that was was yeah. perfect. But then the next song, man, give me a loot. It's funny, growing up. I didn't know what it was about, <laughs> but now it's like now I'm like, oh shit! Annie up wasn't the first. No, no, no. Annie Annie up was way after this one. Yeah, this is a stick up song. Exactly. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. I'm a loop. bad bad man. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's a story about Jackie. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. I like he, how he even does the voices of the other guy yeah. and stuff, man. Shit. Yeah, Biggie is vivid story. Vivid story. Blocker, blocker, blocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you sing and hit notes. I do special it's effects. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's when he, that's when he killed the the boy girlfriend. That one is that this song? He's saying if you don't give up the money when he's talking about uh, shooting. Oh, I thought that was when the girl started acting way. He said she can get she get shot too or something. I think yeah, yeah, might, if, yeah, 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 bro. Like, this 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 song is aggressive as hell, man. I, I listened to this song. I was like, bro, it's this, called "Give Me the Loot." He's this, about robbing someone. It gotta be aggressive. Bro, you know I mean, like, oh shit, the cops be cool, fool. They don't want to roll up. All they want is fucking donuts. Why the fuck's he keep looking to get his Glock token? <laughs> oh, it's a grassroots song. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I say people talk about music now, but this is this, this song know. is like gangster rap was gangster rap. This, back yeah, then, this is like I mean, this is people talk about trill the drill drill the music been like this is basically the first not the first, but this is like could be considered drill to me. Well, the thing is, is that Biggie talked about a story. With someone getting robbed mm-hmm. Drill people will just keep talking about getting killed Killing people mm-hmm. And then go out and kill somebody Oh jeez <laughs> we don't, we don't, no, I don't think that happened I don't know if that happens like, Allegedly Like Fat uh-huh. Joe said he lying on 97% hey, but like, like, Oh yeah Fat like, Joe Yeah. <laughs> when he said no he said 95% of his souls Yeah he said he lying He just said that you know he, I mean? he just said that so he can't Oh so he can't get convicted <laughs> Yeah but give me a loop. That was just that was the Brooklyn mentality. Yeah, I'm gonna go fucking get my loot. However, I can fucking get yep. it. Whoever's in my way is getting popped. You know what I mean, you're getting got no matter what, right? And then I'm gonna rob you. You know, I, you weren't even supposed to be part of me getting that aspect of the money from you. So, you know, and they paid another homage. Yeah, on the course you got Onyx. Yeah. Mm. What's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. Mm-hmm. Give it a loop. Give me the loop. Or oh, does he say what's mine's is mine? What's yours is mine? Anyways, he says it in one of the. <laughs> I know you gotta fuck that it's guy. either yours first or mine's first. <laughs> That's how it goes. But yeah, that was dope. Man, if you think that's aggressive, did you you, li- you must play Annie up sometimes, don't you? Nah, I don't play Annie up. Oh. Annie up. Damn, get that the is. Fool. <laughs> I don't bet. Damn. Damn. All right, where we at? Machine Gun <laughs> Funk was the next one. Uh, another one where they play homage. Where they got uh, Chief Rocker, Lords yeah. of the Underground. Yeah. I live for the funk. I die, I die for, for the funk. funk. I live for the funk. Yeah, I die for, for the, the funk. funk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that song. That's another one. That's one they got that little snippet at the end, too, right? I can't remember. I can remember that correctly. Fuck, it's been a minute since I actually listened to this album. That's when, um. What about you? I, I try to remember this song. This is the one after the Gimme the Loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at the end Machine of that song. Funk. At the end of that song, that's when, um, someone's mm-hmm. trying to break into his host. And they're like, oh, shit. You got a dog you know, on your head. Shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a dog, you got on, a dog your on your head. head. Oh, shit. Yeah, bang, yeah. Bang, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, Do you remember the song now? I, I, no, I don't remember the song. I remember that, that skit, though. <laughs> 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 All right, hold on. Pause. Yeah. Bones. Yeah, man, that was my fucking jam, bro. I've almost forgot uh, it for a minute there. Tell you but um, actually, the, when I listen to the lyrics on that, that's less, of, that's less storytelling and that's spitting bars. Yeah. 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 Right? So he he did a little mixture in here, right? But yeah, that's a lot more storytelling than what it is. Oh yeah, man, right? and it's so vivid, man. That's you can just like, um, well, we ain't got there yet, but the one with meth is more just spitting bars. Yep, yep. Yeah, telling yeah. the story, right? So I guess you can't tell a complete story the whole way through. You know what I mean? Especially back in that era of time, right? So true that. All right, where we at? Next one is the warning, and I'm just gonna play it for a second. Yeah. So he gets a refresher. <laughs> Okay, so the sorry, the warning was the one with the skit at yeah, the end. Yeah, skit at the end. Uh, yeah, damn. damn. He's trying to skip me for my paper. Damn. damn. Yep, yep. He's trying to skip me for my paper. paper. They told me about the Rolexes and Alexis. Yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one now. I like that too. Nice story. What you think? I like I like this song based off like the storytelling and like how how true it is, how true it could be. Mm-hmm. Like this is exactly what could happen. Like yeah, the people that are closest to you. Yeah, they just yeah shady man. Some people shady. Well, it's just showing right, like 
money changes people. Oh yeah, true that. That's pretty much what he's saying. Money's changed people. Mm. You heard about the Rolexes and the Lexus that you got down the state. I mean, like, okay, so what's your point? Well, they're coming to get you because of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's like, no, you can't be talking about my boy. No, I'm not talking about your boy. I'm talking about your boys' boys. So yeah, it's just it's crazy, man. Crazy. Money, money make people do crazy shit. Yeah, Most true definitely. that. Man. True that. Most and that's what yeah. this whole song was. This is a warning to them. Like, stop flashing your stop flashing your cash because people are coming for you for it. You know what I mean? And if you're going to be flashing, be ready. Mm-hmm. So. What do you think all the guns is for? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I and got the rock wilds by the door. And I see the gun pile next. <laughs> Going to play the next one right quick. Yeah. I'm just going to do this just to refresh people's memories. And that's ready to die. Yeah, <laughs> it's a crazy line, right? So that's a crazy line, bro. But that's the gangster Which mentality line? on the street. Huh? Which line? When he said, "Fuck the world, fuck his moms and his girl." Yeah, right? that's crazy. But that's the gangster mentality on it the is, street. It is. It is. It right? is the. It is the. Like, things changed in the USA. I bet, I bet, where the average inner city youth. Lifespan was 16 to 18 years old. Now it's 16 to 24. So even though it went up a few more years, I'm still young to die as an urban black male. You know what I mean? So, but before, like, you go down the streets, you, you ain't expecting to see your 18th birthday or your 16th birthday. You know what I mean? So you got to go into the streets with the mentality. It's like, I'm ready to die anytime. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm going to go out here and get this paper. Shoot whoever's shooting at me. If I get got, I get got. As long as I get them too, you know what I mean. So it it was it was different back then, man. So that's why, like back then, it was so celebrated if a young black male made it to their nineteenth birthday, made it to their twentieth birthday, made it to the twenty first birthday. It's so celebrated because they weren't supposed to live to see that, right? If you got that one black male that made it out of the hood, went to university. And accomplished himself, and got to see their thirtieth birthday. Well, fuck, you're you you you're you're you're, you're a miracle. Know what I mean, so yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like we're still there, man. We are still there. We're still there. We man. are still there. But I I feel that it's not as bad. Think so? Yeah. I not don't, as see. Bad. I don't know. I don't know. I think it. I feel like it's worse, man. Yeah. I think it might with the be the cops, worse. yes. I don't and find it as bad within the hoods anymore. Mm. Right? That's possible. Right? But so. the thing is, is that, like, it's... Mm. I don't know. Like, they still kill the ops and stuff. They still doing that. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it's like, you ain't even safe in school down there no more. You know what I mean? No, so, but that's a lot of... Like, that's more of that mental... Bullying type stuff that's going on. Like, we're not even on the aspect of that when it comes to this here song, right? This is more because most of these guys ain't even going to school. True. You guys are living in the street. Yeah. 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 I mean, the street is your school where you're up at seven. You know what? Bed at four to be back up at seven. You know what? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back on what I said. It might. I don't. I don't think it's it's worse. Mm. You know what it is now? It's more visible. Yes. Back oh, then, no one visible. had camera phones. Back there, no. No one had social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Back then, like shit would go down and people wouldn't even believe it. Certain people wouldn't believe it. Like mm. now with video and stuff, you, you can't deny. No. So yeah, I take that back. Yes. Yeah, more visible now. It's more visible right. now. Well, like I said, like these these. These guys only go to school to sell their shit. They ain't go to class. They're just going to school to sell their shit. Or if someone spoke ill of them, then they're going to deal with that, right? So, yeah. you know, that was the mentality back then. How it is now, it could be still the same now, but I find more kids are actually attending school a little bit more than, you know. Oh, we kept the window open. Good, it was hot. <laughs> but now I hear sirens. Yeah, it's all good. They're coming to get us. No, because <laughs> we're um, playing Biggie. <laughs> oh, Oh yeah, Mommy, it's someone's party. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so did y'all like the song? Oh bro, I love the whole album, so Oh yeah. Hey, one song I didn't like on What you feel? Again, it's aggressive for me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the album's called Ready to Die. I yeah. know, right? I Things know. are gonna get aggressive. I know. It's 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 I mean Biggie's a rapper, man. Like it, it, Oh yeah. What I would say is the rap is still very good. It is a very graphic, you know? Mm-hmm. Gun tone slinging type album. And I feel like the first part is, but and some parts at the end. But uh, <laughs> but like, is he still? He still like how he puts the song together and the storytelling, like you guys are saying, is like it's on point. Like you could you could envision everything he's saying, mm-hmm. and would, which is the whole purpose of rap, right? Like mm-hmm. I, I guess not the whole purpose, but his his type of rap, right? Storyteller, right? But it's yeah. good. It's very good. Well, we got a less aggressive song for the next one. Oh, yeah. And that's one more chance. Exactly. See, see, this is where I think this, the album changes. Really? At this point. No. I no, think so. Yet. No. Not I think yet. it changes. Yeah, and two more steps, you're going to re- rethink that. I think it changes. I, I think uh, even though that song is there, I, th- that I song's think mad aggressive. It changes. But, the- anyways, we'll get to that when we yeah, get to that. Yeah, yeah. One more chance. That's my jam. That's all like the original. Yeah. The opening, that first verse like is like one of, of my favorite verses. I like both of them, right? So. You know what I like? I like when you do remixes with different verses. Like the remix of yeah. this is a different song, yeah. basically. Yeah. It's just a remake. But just one more chance is Biggie's way of making a love song. Mm-hmm. But he's still telling the story within that song. Mm-hmm. I mean, like. Mm. He's saying like Where you at How can I come get you Where we gonna meet When we gonna do it All that this shit right So he, he He's speaking Love But in a gangster way And soft and smooth In this here song right So Like this is one like, like Bro like I said This whole album Yeah this, shit, this like, is my jam I This mean, is my favorite song on. Both the uh, Not favorite song on the album That's coming up soon <laughs> Um, What about you one more chance, yeah. One more chance. My third favorite song on this album. I agree with you. This, uh, this is why I think the album has a little. Just takes a turn from the violence. It goes into the lover and mm-hmm. it's like it's the love biggie. This is the love party. I yeah, mean, it's the party aspect of yeah. it. Right. It turns. It, it turns. The album turns its attention towards the ladies. I believe at this point. <laughs> That's what you think. That's what you think. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, is then, um, but then the next one is a skit. Yeah, the fucking skit with Lil Kim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pay more homage. Got Joe C. Phenom playing in oh, the background yeah, there. For sure. And this is the skit that always pissed me off because this came. I was twelve when this album came out, <laughs> and you're just there jamming, listening to the music, and then it, they're just having sex. <laughs> I'm like, what is? What are you trying to do? I had to skip this. The album takes a turn. You, you can never turn. It I off think. That, I think stuff, this though. is. I think that this was probably the only second time I've ever heard it because I always. When I heard that, I pressed skip right quick. Because <laughs> that's all it is, is, is fucking. You fat. I don't even know how we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Fuck the, 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 yeah, the insults are funny. But I don't know. There's not much to critique on this unless you have something to add. I think it's a good skip. <laughs> it's, I mean, I it didn't was know it was, it was funny. I, I didn't find know, yeah, it didn't come up in a skit ep- episode, did it? No, I think we just oh. forgot about it. Uh, yeah, I forgot about it. Sorry, go ahead. No, I I agree. It's it's funny and like, that's like what she's saying is just like what the hell? He's she basically demeaning him. Mm-hmm. And like he's still like mm-hmm. he don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> nope. So then after that, we have the what? And it's funny where you said it gets to the ladies when the chorus goes, "Fuck the world, don't ask me for shit. Yeah. Everything you get, you got to work hard for it." Mm. Honey, huh. shake your hip. You, you don't, don't stop. stop. Well, what part of for the ladies is that? Honey, <laughs> shake your hip. Honey, shake uh, your oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Honey, shake uh, your hip. You don't stop. The lyrics have nothing to do with it, <laughs> <laughs> and that's where. The <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's this is my favorite song on the album. That's my second favorite song on the album. Only reason why it's my second favorite song on the album is because I feel. Meth came harder than Biggie on this, which is really hard to do. 
right? I think we had this conversation yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, right? best for it. Right? Uh, oh, yeah, that yeah, was. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I just felt that meth came harder than Biggie in this hair. And not to say <laughs> Biggie sucked in it. He, he was nowhere close to sucking it. It's just I felt meth came a little bit better than what it, Biggie it, did in this hair. It right? was, so, it was, it was some close, of my yeah. some of my favorite uh, Biggie lyrics is from this this song. Yeah, right. So this is like very, very close, right? But just... It's my second favorite. It's my second favorite. What did you think about it? I think the song was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what I you think it's for I, the ladies. I, I heard you guys thought with this song like a billion times. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it's it's two good rappers on the song. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't really know what the song is about. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> That's why it's called the what? Yeah. yeah. It's like, what is the song about? The chorus says, "Oh, fuck the world, don't ask me for shit." <laughs> like, and and but the. I think that what makes this song enjoyable is their chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Like the way that they f- flow in off each other. And it's just a good punchline. They're just spitting bars. Yeah. That this song doesn't have like a a meaning. A center point. Yeah. 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 That's why it's called the what? <laughs> <laughs> Next song up. Juicy. Classic. One Juicy. of the classics. I mean Juicy. What can you say about Juicy? Um, well, if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. It's <laughs> a complete story in itself that explains this whole album. True that. Right? And Total sings on it. Didn't know that before. That's, do they sing on this one? Mm-hmm. They got the credits for it. Okay. So, again, from beginning to end, in this one song, he explains his whole life from nothing to rich and fame. Right? Mm-hmm. It was a. Uh, it was a summer jam when it came out. I can tell you that. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. <laughs> and I was that book, man. I couldn't picture this. 50 inch screen, money green leather sofa. Got two rods of limousine with a chauffeur. Jeez. Although oh, nowadays man. kids be like, what the hell is a Sega Genesis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know Super Nintendo because Nintendo's still called Nintendo Switch, but Sega? Mm. Se- Sega. Sega fizzled oh. a little while ago. I'm so sorry. Biggie didn't live long enough to get an Xbox. Jesus. <laughs> Sega Genesis is hot though. It was hot at that time. I, I know. I had, I had Sega yeah. Genesis. I didn't have a Se- Super Nintendo. But no. my but my cousin did and I was borrowed it. NCAA basketball. I used to kill that game. Nigga, I had Duke. Sega. Jeez. See, I didn't have yeah. Sega. I had Sega. I had Sega. I had the first Nintendo. Yeah. And then I went got to Sega Genesis. My cousin would always let me use um uh, her Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I only had one. Con- no, I had two controllers. But play basketball with my dad. It was funny, and that I, I remember a friend. I'm not going to call his name out. Came over to my house one time, knocked on my door, wanting to come in to play Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. He said, "My parents said I have to play it to see if I like it, be- and then I can get it for Christmas." <laughs> I was like, "That game's one player." Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come over and want me to, you don't come to my house and expect me to watch you play my no. And I borrowed the system. If I owned the system, then maybe I'd, I'd spare some time and like, yeah, you can come yeah. play. But I'm on borrowed time here. I gotta beat the game before my, my cousin comes and gets it. <laughs> this nigga. I don't even know if my cousin played the system. Probably not. Yeah, she but she let me use NCAA basketball. Duke. I don't even know the names of these players. Because I shoot threes from half court. <laughs> Super Nintendo, bro. I wonder if, if I can. I'm going to try and dig up that game for a party. I'll, I'll play you basketball yeah, on that. Play, Super play. Nintendo. <laughs> Thing that turn, still turn it on. I ain't that they, they got they got the new Super Nintendo minis oh. thing that you can hook up. But anyways, um, yeah. Maybe that should be so choppy. Fuck that shit. Cause <laughs> I gotta play that shit. That's like playing fucking snakes or whatever the fuck it is. If I got moving fucking L shapes and shit. No, bro. <laughs> Nigga, you want to know what's funny? Hmm. Is that, uh, like, I was working a lot that last week. Megan yeah. was sick, right? Yeah. And on the day when it's time for her to make supper, like, we didn't plan for her to be sick, so nothing was open, whatever. And it's funny, I was listening to Biggie, right? Hmm. Down, and I, I made supper. Guess what I was eating when I, and then this, this song came on. Hmm. Sardines on crackers. For supper I was, I was eating sardines for dinner And then Biggie called me out on it Did you, did you have the Walter's grape too? 
No. <laughs> no. I had sold a stream. <laughs> I, I had sold a stream. Because I miss that shit, bro. Can you buy that shit anywhere? Well, this is great. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Don't they make candies now? Like gummies? Yeah. 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 Those are the shit. Make got the well just white grape. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, where we at? Where ah, we at? The, and the the dark purple. <laughs> <laughs> Those sardines was good though. Um sardines. sardines. I don't wanna live no more. That song. Sometimes I hear death knocking on my front door. Living every day like a Another du- uh, another drug, so the this, juggle. Yeah, so this one another the, day, the, another struggle. The CD goes a little dark again. Yeah, right. the everyday struggle. Yeah, everyday or struggle. as uh, Latom would say, for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the album does go flip flop for real at this point. I agree. So, I agree. I mean, so again, he's just talking about the struggles of everyday life for a black male living in Brooklyn, New York, mm-hmm. right? Because he can't. He can't base it off nothing else. Brooklyn, as far as he made it at this same point. So yeah, I mean, yeah. That's the only part that he lived. Bit stuff. Right? So, where Brooklyn? This is all the trials and tribulations that he had to go through. The struggle to go from living with moms, getting kicked over mom's hoes, going to jail, living with baby mama, getting kicked over her hoes, going to jail, selling drugs. So, it's a, it was the ongoing struggle, cycle that. He couldn't get out of, and he was chasing and chasing and chasing until until he did what he did. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I catch your hook too. Oh yeah, definitely can catch your hook. If it, if this song, song came out today, it'd be called it'd be probably labeled in the emo rap. Mm-hmm. Very emotional, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember it. Every <laughs> 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 You don't remember? You don't remember it? All right, let's refresh his memory. Play a little dumb. You know what's noticeable? Hmm. Hearing that verse, just how different it is from nowadays. Nowadays, yeah. rappers would be rapping about using all them drugs he said he was selling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They would be talking about how he strung out. And bragging about it, yeah. yeah, like it's that's the life to live. Yeah, yeah. this guy's talking about selling these drugs to these losers, <laughs> so he can get away from it. Yeah, and these rappers nowadays would be bragging about being these losers, taking the drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's been that switch, big switch, big big switch. So now that that refresh your memory, that that song I remember now is like I was trying to question um the like how it was recorded. It just sound like his voice is like recorded differently than the other tracks. Sound like he's like behind the beat or something like you know what I mean. Like it doesn't sound like Biggie's in front of the beat. I got, I, I know what you mean. It's like I don't know. This I just know that about this song, but it's still a, it's a good song. I like it. Yeah, I like. And it's just like every other song, not every other song, but he he again gives you that picture. He the whole scene like. Mm-hmm. You know what question I have? On his songs. Does he ask Puff to be on them? See, see, this is I wanted to talk about this at the end. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I wanted, right, we'll I wanted, talk about it. I wanted to talk about this because, because you, you know what? You noticed that he Puff is not on all the songs, but some of the songs he is on. Mm-hmm. That's why I was questioning if some of the songs like he had already in the tuck before. Uh, that's yeah, I wonder because yeah, we'll talk about it after. Yeah, this. because just, after this, this album, right? Because it went on the biggie. I actually listened to the other one, and I'm like Puff. Now I know what Shrug was talking about. Yes. <laughs> You're just talking. Random yeah. talking. Ah, uh, yeah, ladies. Yeah. Like, bro, uh, we don't even need this. Like, <laughs> yeah, we don't need this. We don't even that. need this in the song, bro. Anyway, sorry. 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 Uh, not, <laughs> I ain't sorry, but Pop. <laughs> I'm going <with> my guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you know, oh, shit. Uh, went easy on you. He only thought about dancing in the video. Yeah, yeah, he thought about it. He obviously didn't listen to your album. Talking over you dancing the all over the tracks. <laughs> yeah, talking over the tracks. <laughs> and adding stuff. Yeah, like you said, that got nothing to do nothing with the song. Like just talking, just bro. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. ladies. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> take that, take that. Like, <laughs> I wanted to talk about that at the end, bro. It's funny that he says, take that, take that. And then, and then he gets on charges for it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, anyways, sorry. 
<laughs> oh, uh, so um, yeah, that, that was everyday struggle. Now the next one's me and my bitch. Yeah, this is good. I, I I like that. Do you remember that one? Yep, I like this one. What's your thoughts on it? I like the the lead up and the, like the whole like it's like a freaking movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that's he, what I'm saying. Like he, he gave us a movie about him and his girlfriend. How his girlfriend is like his ride or die. Yeah. And then she died. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, she died for him. Yeah. Right. That's like, I don't know. That's, I like it. He just laid it out. That's classified as ghetto love. Yeah. Right? Where you'll die for your loved one, whether it's your girl or your man. Right? So you can, uh, if your girl's willing to ride with you through thick or thin, and I'm talking about real thick or thin, like she'll come catch a case with you. Go rob somewhere with you, not me. Then, yeah, you're gonna be willing to die for her the same way she's gonna be willing to die for you, right? So, that's a real ghetto love right there. Yeah, I don't Big, subscribe to that, but yeah. that's just not. It's just not <laughs> in me. Biggie and Biggie so raw, bro. Me and my bitch. <laughs> like, that, yeah, like, like, yeah, like yeah. this evening, my girl, my you know, my my ride or nothing. No, me and my bitch. Like that's crazy. That's how they talk back to each other, though. I, yeah, yeah. It's just so it's raw, it's free. Like Biggie, yeah, we talked about at the end too, but he says some raw stuff on his album. <laughs> like he says some stuff that I know like only people in the streets would say. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 people who like who like yeah, like 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 they like really in the streets. Mm-hmm. Like the stuff like I think I don't know what song was but I, I I don't know you guys know what song it is though. I don't know if we got to it yet. I think that's just the one. This this is one where he said he is sucking the is that is that it? Yeah. Oh, you look so good, man. I suck on your dad. Yeah, too. yeah. I, I wasn't like, even I wasn't even gonna repeat it. You ain't getting that sound <laughs> bite to me up there. <laughs> not not gonna sound bite Bro. me. <laughs> I, I heard I heard it before a long time ago, but when I heard it again, let's I listened to it again before the party. Yeah. I was like, man, that's something that a real street street I don't give a frig about nobody would say. Like he like really like that's what you gotta go in the real street Somebody said that to you And they be like Oh yeah he's so street He can say that And yeah. nobody will crash in that No no ain't gonna crash Nobody that. gonna crash in that That's not even a thought That I know would come In somebody's <laughs> mind Like I know No but I started getting loud But I <laughs> <laughs> The thing is You you do know those people Who would say something like that Who would say something like yeah. that Like that out loud And she be like oh, Bro yeah, like, like, like I, I work the, with guys I used to say Oh man she looks so good I'll eat the, sh- the, the corn Yeah the exactly shit, Not so over shit Exactly Stuff like that, stuff right? like, that like like yeah, So yeah. like so far beyond <laughs> your thoughts You like until, until they get like Nelly And they say yeah. Unless you're gonna do it and Whatever that happens <laughs> Dad's like really? I don't know And I don't zips know. out what if her, her, her dad took him up on that offer? Oh, freak that freak. <laughs> what you going to do? It was in the song, man. It was in the song. Oh, man. Uh, I, I don't remember it. I don't remember that part. <laughs> Remix. I must have took that part of my head. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't happen. I was like, what the freak? Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah that, like, was, oh, that was oh. That was gross what you said your friend said too. Like, like, <laughs> no, but like you, corner, I could see like, it. Oh man, I could see it. Shit, bro. Yes, bro. Oh man. I, yes, bro. You go around a real hood, you would find somebody who would say something online and stuff like yeah, that. Man. Like still watch a girl pass and say something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like you know how bold is to say that in a song and be biggie at that time? I think he's bold. Yeah, they even come up to that. First off, that's fucking foul shit. <laughs> if you meet a girl and she says that's the requirement, just let her go. Bruh. <laughs> you telling the girl like you telling, yeah, telling the girl, telling her girl that, that's that's that's, that's mean, you look so good that I'll suck yeah, you. That's that's dick. that's like how a, is yeah. that even game though? <laughs> how is <Yo>. that game? <laughs> who would who would be like who would take that? I I would like see as a compliment. I, think, I don't know why he was thinking when he said it. I'll never know what he was thinking when he said it. Now, I would have switched raw, it up. Bro. But I would have switched it up over like, you look so good, I would have sucked on your mother's clit. I mean, I would have went that far, but I, went, I don't know. I but he, t- to the he took it further. Like, oh, he yeah, took, he did he, take it further. He took it beyond took it further, like right? what you would say. Like It's like, oh, did he just say that? It's like, freak. Remember, somebody else did it on a comedian. Remember, uh, wings so good, they'll make you slap your mama? You ever yeah, see? yeah. That mm. was um, your boy from Friday. 
uh, fuck, what's his name? I forget. Yeah, forget it. It wasn't, it wasn't no, yeah. it wasn't Weatherspoon. It was yeah, oh, he, yeah, yeah. That's, him. Him. that's no, him. It wasn't Weatherspoon. It was the um, his him. brother in that movie that said it, and the second one. Uh, it was the brother that said it because he had the infomercial with the commercial with it. Oh, I thought and, and I thought Witherspoon did, was the one that slapped. No, okay. John Witherspoon's the one that slapped. Yeah, uh, it was the brother that says it. Tastes so good, slap your mama, and then like, oh yeah, yeah John okay, like, hey mama, and then slap your mama, right? <laughs> anyway, we off topic yeah. with yeah. that. <laughs> Anyways, um, you don't have to try that hard to get a lady, bro. He just, bro. but it was, it was that's big, bro. He he had that level of he was, yeah, he, but you got remember one of his other lyrics that he said too. Heartthrob never black and ugly as ever. However, I stay coochie down to the socks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what song was that again? Was that Big Papa? I, I might be ahead of us right now. Yeah. Or or was it one more chance? I forget. Anyways, one sorry. more chance. It was one more chance. Sorry. Yeah. But I think that was that's the remix though. Yeah, yeah. That's the remix. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta think of his lyrics, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll say some shit. He, that was some he shit. Says, yeah. yeah, he said some. He <laughs> said some, some stuff, man. <laughs> The next song was a more commercial one that everyone knows, Big Papa. Yes. Did you see that meme I sent? I think that Big Papa was the one that the guy was talking about. Because yeah, I think it even happens in the movie. Sorry, not the movie, the video. Anyways, the comedian says that Biggie said some creepy stuff on there. You know, he, cre- <laughs> he creeps up behind this girl. <laughs> And says some rhymes about how he knows people with Mercedes and Rolexes and stuff and Benz. You know, he's like, how is that a pickup line? Because wouldn't the girl be like, well, I'd like to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, cousin. Play the song first. Eh? Uh, you want me to play the song? Okay. Let's play the start. After you play the start, I'll, I'll have the whole song. Oh, right. Jesus. <laughs> so you need a little... <laughs> What? What's that? <laughs> I, I tried to do the beginning. <laughs> I didn't mm. know. One. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll play it. <laughs> he also said he had a lot of shit at the first two, though. That's the thing, right? So he's only taking that one aspect of that song. Oh, yeah. To try you take to it out of context. Yeah, to, to make take it, it out of context. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, because I know B was saying that he had all kinds of shit in this hair motherfucking song. But he's letting him know that my friend's got this shit, too, which, right. he, pro- which he probably got from him. So, yeah, okay. Nice joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I don't even know what else to say about that. Oh, it's a, it's a it's classic. A classic. Right? It's a classic. So, legendary classic. I think about Hardball. What's that? Oh, you think about Hardball? <laughs> the movie. You know I, mean? I love it when you call me Big Pop. And that's all they can't play? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's, <laughs> what a guy, that's what a guy used to play baseball with. He used to play that constantly in his yeah, head. Yeah, he had the headphones on when he pitched it. Right, so big pop. Yeah. Now you know what's funny? The next song, I don't know how, but the next song I forgot existed. Respect. When it came on, I was like, they must have added this. Okay, yeah, play this one again. But no, yeah. See, I guess it's a song that everybody forgets. I don't think got I Diana that. King in it. Hold on, I'll play it. Like when the the reggae yeah. started talking, I was like, I don't ever remember. I don't remember this. You didn't. I remember like, this song. Uh, so. As much as I love this album, unfortunately, I think this was the only song on the album that didn't really stand out to me. All right, just it's li- it's literally the only one that I listened to, and I was like, I didn't yeah, even know the I song just, was the song. I just don't <laughs> think that it, like it does flow with the album, but I just felt it didn't flow for it's me. It's not even a bad song. No, 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 no. I don't not. know, but it like, just didn't flow for me for the complete album, right? Like if you would have just made this an EP, I would have been fine with it. But you mean a single? Yeah, sorry, a single. All right, just uh. Yeah, I just, just I don't even know who this probably was my least favorite song of them all. Be honest with you, so, it, it surprised um, me. I uh, oh, train going by, <laughs> and we got the window open, guys. We gotta keep that open because it's hot in here. Bro. Oh, that was okay. a short train. That wasn't bad. That was I'm keeping was, that in that, too. That, that was that, <laughs> hey, that was that train you was talking about uh, two weeks ago. Oh, the, the oh, that was that was Cameron Mace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two people <laughs> train. Anyways, um, yeah, what was I saying? Shit, lost my train of thought. Train. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't a bad song. I, I just forgot it existed. I don't know why. Because it's, it's kind of. Did you like song. it? 
I um I like this song. I didn't know it existed. And I'm pretty shocked because I didn't know that reggae had entered the rap realm this mm-hmm. early. Mm-hmm. Oh I, yeah, yeah. I did not know that, but it doesn't mean to have Biggie have it on his on his album. I did not know this song existed. But even before that, um Puffy worked with Supercat. Yeah. Which which song was that? I don't even know that song. I think it's I think Biggie was in it. Was he in that one? Um Puffy and Supercat. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was in that now, one. Now I gotta look it up. I'll look it up. Next song is Friend of Mine. You guys talk while I look this up. Oh, was it Friend of Mine? Yes. Yeah, I played that one again for a second. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> nah, I don't remember that either. I'm getting old, man. All right. We're the friends of uh, five. All right, I, I found it. It's um, uh, he collaborated with Notorious B.I.G. on a song with uh, also future Mary J. Blige. Mm-hmm. Third I, whoever that is, and Puff Daddy. This is Super Cat. And it was called, uh, it was a B side remix of Dolly, My Baby in 1993. Mm, never heard that. But uh, yes, I, I remember that uh, Super Cat did work with them way back. That, that was in 93. That was actually before this album. Yeah. Anyways, mm. friend of mine, what y'all think? I won't lie. Skip. <laughs> no. <laughs> here, here, I won't lie. Here, here, um, I misspoke. I forgot this song existed as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I said this. This is, I've never heard this song in my life. Like I played. The, I I remember. I had the CD. Yeah, yeah. And I played from beginning to end. How is this song? You skip. I guess I. Yeah, I guess I. I they didn't. <laughs> they didn't catch my ear. Like you're gonna like. Every album back in those days, you always had one or two songs that weren't rememberable. Yeah, because even on Wu Tang's um, first album, yeah. Ab- Tears, I yeah. skipped that all the time. Yeah, like you're gonna have songs that ain't rememberable. Yeah, like, I found these last two songs on all the last two of the last three songs weren't rememberable for me at all. Right, because they weren't within the Biggie realm for me. He was trying, I felt as though he was trying something different on that part of the album. And it was not taken away from the story, but taking a piece from the story away. And I won't lie, the beat sound like it's all over the place. It is all over the place. Puffy probably produces it. <laughs> Puffy don't produce nothing. <laughs> look, at, look at this album. This, these songs could easily get overshadowed by... That's all true. All that's those, that's true. Yeah. The rest so of the songs that's, is That's like, a good point. I mean, like, they, they, you know, like, the rest of the album was bumped constantly in the... Yeah. Like, these yeah, that, songs weren't. That is true. Right? Yep. So, like the, these two songs came after Big Popper. What you wouldn't one? No one listened. No that's one knew. It. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah you, that's a good point. That's that's why they've forgotten. Yeah, they I came after. Like, anyway, fuck that song. Last <laughs> Man, song. No, this is no, my favorite. Song. No? It's not the last song. We oh, still got one more. Oh, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh fuck! I forgot about unbelievable. Shit. So did I. I'm gonna play that one. Real I don't quick. know one either. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Came out the big papa. No, this is one of my favorite ones too. <laughs> no, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like some of Rizzo's earlier work. That's why you like it. That doesn't. It's, no, that don't no, sound like nothing Rizzo does. It sounds like something Rizzo would do, bro. No. I'm telling you now. No. I, I'm telling you now. I know Rizzo's work. It might sound like something that maybe Fourth Disciple would have did. But RZA, that's, no. that's Wu Tang affiliated beat right there. You could say that, but it definitely wouldn't be a RZA beat. Right. It'd be one of the other dudes. Needless to say, this is just another one of Big. This is just Big spitting on this. He ain't telling no story on this one. I mean, there's a story in there, but he ain't really telling a, a, an absolute story on this here song, right? So it's just him spitting. Like this reminds me of him just being on the street corner, doing his thing, right? I can't believe I forgot about that song. Oh. I can. I can believe I forgot about it. Came after Big Papa. I think that when I was younger, I think the Big Papa was the last song on the album. Because <laughs> I think I just kept no. pressing rewind. Because no. I'm not even saying that the other ones are bad. No. I'm just saying I didn't get past Big Papa. No, this next song that we both to do, though, this is my all-time favorite song by Biggie. All-time favorite. And um, it's called Suicidal Thoughts. And the only reason I say it's my all-time favorite because this man hit what he could be for his supreme. 
And for a fact that he can come with mental issues as he does on this here song, saying that he went through so much shit and he just can't deal with it no more, whether it had to do with the street, his home life, his woman, his mama, his friends. He can't deal with the shit no more and that he needs a fucking end of his life, even though he's at the pinnacle of his career and made millions by this time. But that's still not enough for him to continue on with his life and listen to the song. Listen to the song. It's a dark ass song. Extremely dark. But so it's called Suicide Thoughts. Yeah. You don't get much darker than that. I mean, like for the fact that your thoughts can go to suicide. When you have as much fame just to show you that money can't save you. You need more than money to save you, right? You need more than fame to save you. The reason why he has these thoughts is because what he needs to help save him aren't there to support him. You know what I mean? His mom's not there to support him. His friend's not there to support him. His girl's not there to support him. And he loves them to death, but they're not there when he really needs them to help him get through life. Right? So... It's a really, really, really deep song. Right? So, yeah, I agree. I mean, what about you, DJ? What you think about it? I agree with um, Travis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I think I can't even stuck these dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I agree with Tyro. Said. I don't remember this song that vividly, but mm. I do remember Tyro talking about this song before I was in another episode. Yeah. But like, I, I do agree with Tyrone saying about the song. I can't remember all the aspects that he was bringing up, but yeah. it is a I I I don't I don't like to promote songs like this. No, I don't. No, like, I understand, I understand it, right? But yeah, I, I don't know. I just I I'm not gonna big this song up. This but not, this I, not a song that you don't play at a party. Yeah, yeah, you're not playing it. You know what I mean, like this, 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 this is a make you think song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is a, a good make you think song. If you're down on your luck, tuck this on. It, it could help you bring you around a little bit. It could. Or it could make you go the other way too. But Whoa, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. You, know you don't I mean? want that. But it's one of them situations like uh, life is like, good. Nothing is that serious, guys. No, life is good. You wake up every day, life's great. Exactly. Nothing is serious. No matter what your situation is. Exactly. So, but yeah, no, that's just <laughs> Like yeah, I said, like, to I, that. I've never, ever, never, ever thought of suicide, bro. I still to this day don't, right? Like I said, life's yeah. great, you know what I mean? But just for the fact that I can see someone that I idolized as a child write a song about it in such grave detail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Made me think, like, man, is he actually thinking like this? Or is he just fulfilling his storytelling, right? Mm. So, but... Just for the fact that he was able to write that in grave detail, either he known someone with these type of thoughts or he had these thoughts himself. Right. Right. So it's just it's just an amazing song to me. Just you know. It it normalizes the thoughts, doesn't mean that you like the action is normalized. Yeah. Right. So right, right. It. Yeah. And that's what Yeah. I think that stuff like that needs to be addressed because I feel like if it's brought up mm-hmm. and addressed to know that people do have these thoughts and stuff, but it also shows that they get past it. Yeah. Yeah. That's like for normalizing it. Yeah. When, yeah. when it's more of a taboo, then people that feel that can think something's wrong with them. Yeah, exactly. And, lean, and then they go more they over the it. edge. Yeah. Right. Lean right. into it. Right. But if, it's, if, if you see that other people are going through this and then they get past it. Right. Then that's something that. Yeah, that, that should be promoted. Yeah, that should be promoted yeah. for sure. It's pretty much killing yourself without killing yourself, mm-hmm. right? Ride with me on this. So, for the fact that you have these negative thoughts of killing yourself, right? If you can kill that person that you are and reinvent yourself to make yourself more happier with yourself, then therefore you killed that person that's completely negative, and now you can come. To the light to be positive, right? That's what Dennis Rodman did. Mm. Now, I mean, he went fucking. I don't know what the fuck he's doing now, but <laughs> like once once he's once doing he him, did man. that, he's once yeah, he's doing him. Yeah. Once yeah. he did that, there he like he totally changed, right? So I read his book and he said he killed himself that night. He sat in his pickup truck with a shotgun, pointed underneath his chin, 
And when he pulled the trigger, that's when he pulled it away, shot in the air. He said, that's when Dennis Rodman died. And that's when Dennis Rodman was reborn. Right? So Crazy. there's other ways to do that, um, people. Oh, there's definitely other ways <laughs> oh, yeah. to do that. We don't, we, we 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 don't do that. It, right? I, I get I get the figure to right? so, he could couldn't he have figuratively did that? Like he took but sometimes, a fake. <laughs> but sometimes people need that uh, like, extra. Yeah, they right? need that so, little uh, yeah, but you, mean? that one little mistake. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. But um yeah, I I, I get that. I yeah. get that process. Yeah. I, I, I see that. Become the new you. Yeah. And the thing is is that yeah. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy. Don't get me wrong. It's not fucking easy. But it can be done. There's many people in the world have done it, right? So it can't be done. You can't just keep holding yourself down. You got to lift yourself up. True that, true that. Yeah. You have to lift yourself up. You can't look for other people to lift you up. You can't. You have no. to lift yourself yes. up. Yes. If you look for other people to do it, then yeah. your, your life becomes dependent on other people exactly. lifting you up. Yeah. So then as soon as you don't have that, you're exactly. going to fall. So yeah, never depend on other people for your happiness. Yeah. And um, I, guess, I guess we're after school special now, but we're yeah, allowed to. Whatever, bro. But um, <laughs> yeah, is that song, you you song you gotta find happiness. That's why I say about relationships too. Yeah, don't find this girl that makes you happy, the guy that makes you happy, or any of the other genders that make you happy. You have to make you happy. Yeah, 100%. and then then you go when you're happy, then go find somebody that doesn't take away from your happiness. Yeah. You know, that can either keep it the same or add to it. But you have to make yourself happy exactly. before anything else. Like Cat Williams said, self-esteem. It's yeah. the esteem of your motherfucking self. Yes. Not there you go. me giving you self-esteem, not DJ giving you self-esteem, not Kizzy giving you self-esteem. It's you giving you self-esteem, right? So, 100%. How bro. can I make you feel bad about you? I, I can't. I shouldn't be able to. I can make any comment in the world. I shouldn't make you feel bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Cool. So. With all that being said. Overall. With us that we have. Now we can talk about the. <laughs> Puff Daddy dancing all over the tracks. <laughs> and stuff. And um, another thing. I noticed when I listened to. Because like I said earlier. But I didn't want to go too into it. Because we were stu- You know. We were going song by song. Mm. After listening to this album. I listened to Life After Death mm-hmm. because um, at least I remembered that Life After Death was my favorite of the two. Now wow. I can't decide because <laughs> I, I like them. This is my favorite. I, th- favorite. I think I like them both the same. Mm-hmm. It's just I, I kind of like the beats a little bit better on the next one. And and it's because the some of the verses stood out to me a yeah. bit more. But I did love them both. But I definitely noticed Puff What's more... On the second one, yes. just nonsense, yeah. <laughs> and just like, yeah. why are you saying that, Puff? Okay, blow your like, you're, you're like, just say, I, I, he don't let know us, where I. Let, let us leave before you first. Puff, Puff <laughs> what? Let us leave before you, okay. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Puff, he can't blow off my car from jail. Oh. Anyways. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm just Puff got sad like no. Nigga. <laughs> uh, I'm just Puff ain't got no sad. You Anyways, see, you seen, it, you seen um, his outfits. <laughs> he is the shiny suit man um, Anyways That's made me wonder um, Is Did Biggie want that Or did Puff after the song was done Go in and be like let me just do this Just ad lib over it or put this in here And also I won't lie Like, like now this is pro Puff What I'm going to say is that on Hypnotize mm. He should have got a feature credit he is all over that song. How is it not saying Notorious B.I.G. featuring Puff Daddy? He said enough words on there that it should be a feature. <laughs> Puff ain't, you know, credit. He, he, like, uh, yeah, he, true. He owned some of that, right? He owned, like, most of his work, right? I don't know if he owned it or he gets uh, the family know. now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He's getting pieces of it. He's getting something from it. I think, I think Cassie Puff, owns it now. I think Puff, oh, just, wow. wanted, Puff just wanted to be on the track, bro. Yeah, he. I think he always wanted to be Puff, a rapper in the for yeah. in the foreground, but he didn't have the, the talent. Yeah, I don't. Think he just wanted to be there, bro. Uh, yeah, he. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to be. A, I think he just wanted people to know that he he did this. He wants to be seen, man. Yeah, he brought he brought him the light. He was, you know. That means no different than Jermaine Dupri or DJ Khaled saying something before every mm. fucking song, too, right? So, you know, I think just Puffy just wanted to be 
on the track somehow, some way. What can yeah. I contribute? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get yeah. it, get it. <laughs> I'm, you know. That's true. DJ, if, if you listen, next time you listen to a DJ Khaled song, just imagine what it would sound like if he wasn't on it at all. Like, I don't really think he's adding anything with his ad libs. No, but even if you take it DJ away, Khaled. it don't seem the same. Like, the introduction to it don't seem the same if you take that away. But I don't know if that makes it worse. I don't know if it makes it better either. So I, mean, I know. That's the thing, mm-hmm. right? So, I don't know. Just I looked up. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I looked up what Khaled particularly does for those albums, and basically they say he... Brings the people together. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. He like, makes phone calls. Yeah, he, he chooses people for the tracks. I don't he's know. The, he's the world's highest paid receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, like, he does, he does, like, pick some good people to be together, mm. I think. Like, especially a lot of his older work I like. But um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. If, he got one of them dream boards in his room. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts pictures up there. It's, you know what he wants to a vision board. <laughs> no, because they were all the pictures out there throwing darts. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> and you. Okay, let's go. Yeah, and he's yeah, like, why does that? Bur- <laughs> He'd be like, why is this every album? Does this dirt keep hitting on Justin Bieber? <laughs> <laughs> every album. Yeah, he man, he, he got some hits, man. I'm hey, I ain't knocking yeah. him. I'm, like I'm, the the one, yeah. I'm glad that he's giving us. I like. Hey, anytime a Canadian is doing good, I, I'm always behind it. I'm just joking. I like the, his uh, songs with uh, Biebs. Yeah, I like Biebs, and even the yeah. D- D- Drake ones. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's good songs. I believe. I don't know. Taking him off the song, I don't know if it'll be better or worse. I don't know. But back to Puffy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you Puff. What do you you think the songs be like with Puff? Better. (laughs) Yeah. Puffy. Like Puff. This. Yeah. Even hypnotized. Take that. Take that. (laughs) Yeah. I probably actually know the song if he was off of it. In one twelve. Uh, only you. I thought I told you that we won't stop. (laughs) We wouldn't know. Yeah. See, we wouldn't have known. That they won't stop <laughs> if Puff didn't tell us. Now, those exactly. Alice, I don't know. I, we would have been like, I think they're about to stop. But no, Puff came up to tell us. <laughs> no. They ain't gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, now, those Alice no. are good. I think they're, 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 they fit. They yeah. Fit. Okay. So yeah, so maybe they're, they're better in R and B songs yeah. than in rap song. Yeah. Because, yeah. On this Ready to Die album, mm-hmm. I felt like this, that's why I felt like Biggie had some of that already. Ready to go from a while. The yeah, ones that Puff wasn't on, and like he, he, he could feel that they weren't jingles produced by Puff. Well, Puff proof like push, sorry, push jingles or whatever. Mm. I felt like it was one that like I felt like the raw ones in the beginning, like give me the loot and all that. I don't know. I felt like was Puff on that? No, right. I don't feel like I feel like he was that raw biggie. Yeah, like Juicy and. Big Papa, Lord Jesus, that fucking water got me. <laughs> they were, they were, they were the commercial songs. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. One more chance. The remake was the commercial. The remix the was, re- the, yeah. was the commercial yeah. song too, right? But everything else was grimy, dark. Yeah. Um, street. You know what I mean? Like heartfelt music. That was like that was the real biggie. In yeah. Those their songs, right? Like the, like I said, Juicy and Big Papa and the remix of One More Chance. That was his way of having fun by telling the story at the same time. You know what I mean? So yeah, Biggie, Biggie finds. Please don't kill me. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't study this album. He was but only four. <laughs> he was only four don't, when it came out. Don't. Jeez, the more I'm looking at the song, like grammar. I actually think it was. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we should do a deep dive or not. Oh, we can. <laughs> we can. can. Oh. But uh, the more we look at the stuff, I think that uh I think Biggie was the one that was asking Puff to do those ad You think he asked him to Yeah, cuz I'm just thinking Diddy don't know how to write. He doesn't write nothing. No. If he did, I don't know if he'd know right. Like maybe later on he got used to it, but like, you know, in um Only You Mm. When he says uh, Slow down boy You're killing them Or something like that yeah. When Puffy comes in I I think Big 
Big had to come up with that. I don't think Puff would have had the smoothness to come up with that. Probably not. So I, 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 I'm trying to think. Did you do anything on Craig Mack's album? And that's where I'm, I was getting ready to say Mace album. I don't remember Diddy being all over it. No, because Mace wasn't about that life. Because Mace. That's why. <laughs> that's why I think. I think. Um, I know this is the Mace album. But he was in every one of Mace's videos. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. Dancing in the background. Exactly. But um, he wasn't adding all these ad libs. So I think. No, but he was cutting away the skits and makes his videos and doing shit. Oh, yeah, and the skits. So. But no. That was uh, More Money, More Problems. Was it that one? Yeah. The Tiger Woods one. Remember, yeah, remember that skit? Yeah. That, I thought he did something on Welcome Back, too. I couldn't remember, man. I thought they did a skit on that one, too. Maybe. Anyways, my thoughts is that, yeah, I think it was Biggie's idea for that stuff because he didn't do it to his other artists. Mm. Which one did he? No, it's ours is before Biggie. Oh, not before yeah, yeah, Biggie. Yeah. Okay. Every artist after Biggie, yeah, he did. Yeah, it. he's on a lot of albums. But, <laughs> Pocket. Yeah. Remember well, the boy, well, I remember, I remember, I remember uh, on Banks, though. Remember Boys in the Hood song when he came on? I have to. Oh, hey, I don't even know what the Boys, boys in the Hood. hood. That's when Young Jeezy was in there. Boys in the hood still anything for proud. You know, that's the copy you on your computer, but you can't get on spot from this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Young Jock. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's young right. Jock, not Jeezy. Good. Did he used to talk a lot? I don't know. I never listened to no Danny Keen album or nothing like that. Neither did I. Oh. I don't even know a song by then. Oh. Anyways, if you want to, well, the next deep dive you want to was Big Sean. So we'll do that first, and then, then we can do hard. What's Nelly out? Country Grammar. Country Grammar. Oh, sheesh. That's I. That's an album I know. Oh, yeah. And Rap something. Too. That's my jam. Still yeah. to this day. Every time I'm high, I put that on. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Country Grammar now, yeah. Now, this is no lie, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Me, my, getting high, yeah, yeah. If you look, look up, up in the, the sky, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, might see it's floating by, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the jam. Anyways, let's wrap this one up. Three, hey, we'll do <laughs> so game. Let the game. You know, yeah, that. yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Too. Night I like that one too. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. We definitely want to do deep dive on Nelly's. You guys gonna go karaoke? That's your second choice then. Country Grammar. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to take See, too much choices out. <laughs> no, no, no. What? What do you mean take I mean, too much choices? I don't, I don't know. You, you, you guys ready to do your second choice too? No, no, no. But oh, I went oh, first. Okay, you okay. went second. Then you can go third. Yeah, and then we'll let you go. First, first, and okay. then he'll go second, and then I'll go last. Okay, okay. So you'll, you yeah, you'll have two deep dives back to back. Jeez, Big Sean and, and Country Grammar. Grammar. Hi, she. And, and any, you don't have to commit to it, but any ideas what you thinking of for your second one? Nope. <laughs> Big no, yeah, life, life after right? death. No, it won't be life after death. <laughs> no, apocalypse now. <laughs> no, no. I'm probably. Uh, I might pick Drag on. I might bring out the dog father. Oh, shit. You know, I'm going to go for somebody that, because last time I went Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Big. So I'm, I'm going to go somewhere that's less known. Drag on. Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. That's it. I had Murphy a, Lee. I had that. Oh, Murphy no, Lee. No. Murphy Lee. Yeah, I, I don't know that. I, I, well, what, it's going to be an album that I really, really know that I think is. I got one. No, nah, I got one. I got one. Doja Cat. You guys ain't going like that. <laughs> no, no, I knew it. No, I ain't going no Doja Cat. I knew it. Ain't no getting Doja Cat. You getting canceled off mine. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, what you do it? Uh, oh, man. Kells. <laughs> oh, great. 12 play? Yep. It'd have to go. It would have to be 12, 12 play. play bro. We're going to break down <laughs> what, <laughs> what could have been happening yeah. during these songs. These, yeah, yeah, yeah. The deeper meaning to these yeah, songs. Yeah, it's going to be a game show. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be like, okay, what age girl was he talking about in this song? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. How many years do you think he'd get for this song? Jeez. Pied Piper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. maybe. No, see, I'd be. I, Joe Budden has some nice stuff too. Bro, my word. It's got shit still on Spotify. Who? Oh. Kills. Probably. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up before we do go down the rabbit where we hole. shouldn't be going. All right. John Kizzy, you know who is he? AKA Philly G, because they know who I be. And here with King Tigger. The King of Kings. DJ Laton. I'm here. And we out. Peace. Deuces. <laughs>